kindergartners! I'm so excited to share a new story with you today and I find this book to be quite fitting for everything that's going on right now. But the story is called Do Not Lick This Book by Aiden Ben Barak and Julian Frost. And then down here, as you can see, there's little microbes and they're saying, it's full of germs! So this story is full of germs, and it's a mixture of fiction and nonfiction. So things that are true and things that are made up. So like Miss Hall always starts, I like to read the summary. And on the back, it gives us a little bit of information about the story that we're going to read. So it says, Min is a microbe. She is small. Very small. In fact, so small that you need to look through a microscope to see her. Or you can simply open this book and take Min on an adventure to amazing places she's never seen before, like the icy glaciers of your tooth or the twisted, tangled jungle of your shirt. The perfect book for anyone who wants to take a closer look at the world. So this book is going to take us on an adventure of different things. Do not lick this book. Whoa. Hmm. Any guesses on what this could be? It is a real thing. Hmm. Do not lick this book. It's full of germs. Just like everything is full of germs. This is Min. Min is a microbe. She's small. Very small. Can you see this dot? Can you see it? Microbes are so small that 3,422,167 of them could fit on it. Over 3 million germs can fit on that dot. Can you believe that? Oh my goodness, that's how small germs are. Ooh, so it says here, microbes live everywhere. In the air, in your intestines, which is in your body, like your guts, in your sock, Antarctica, at the bottom of the sea, on trumpets, on an elephant's knee, underground, in your breakfast, Inside this fish, on top of Mount Everest, up Santa's nose, in your breakfast, did I read that one already? And just over there, there's germs everywhere. There's even germs on Tito. Are you reading the story with us? <laughs> Min lives in this book. And if you could look, really? really closely, dot, 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 you'd see her. There she is. I'm bored. This is a photo of paper. Really, really, really close up. So I'm going to go back to this last page. And as you can see, these circles that is showing what it would look like if you were to look at germs or anything through a microscope, which is something that allows us to zoom in to something we want to see. So if you were to put this under a microscope, a piece of paper, this is what it would look like. Isn't that so interesting? Let's take Min on an adventure. See the circle on the next page? That's where Min lives. Touch the circle with your finger to pick her up. Touch the circle. Boop. Now she's on our finger. We're taking her for an adventure. Min is now on your finger. Oh, look it. There she is. And she's saying, away we go. Where shall we take Min first? Take me to your teeth. What? Okay, 
right, let's go. Open your mouth and carefully touch your front teeth with your finger. I hope your fingers are clean. Mine are, I just washed them. Good. <gasps> now let's look really, really closely. Dot, dot, dot. So now we're back under the microscope. That's what this picture is showing us. This is a photo of a tooth really, really close up. Did you know that? So all this stuff, if you were to put your tooth under a microscope, that's what your tooth looks like. Whoa, Miss Hall did not even know that. And look at, what do you see on the teeth? Hmm, there's little characters. There's germs. Here's Min. Whoa, this place is weird. I'm Min, what are you guys up to? I'm Ray. And we're digging cavities. Are cavities a good thing or a bad thing? They're bad. Oh no. Want to help? Can I get some acid over here? Acid eats at your teeth. Do, do, do. Oh, this one's digging a hole. <laughs> He's digging a cavity. Yuck! Can you smell toothpaste? I don't think these germs like um, toothpaste because cleans them off. Hey kid, brush your teeth less and eat more candy. <gasps> what a strange place teeth are when you look really, really closely. No wonder it's a good idea to brush them. It's time for Min's next adventure. Touch your teeth to pick Min up. Pick him back up. We're going to take him somewhere else. <gasps> Looks like you've picked up Ray as well. Where shall we go next? Would you like to visit a shirt, Ray? Shirt? All right, let's explore your shirt. Put your finger on your shirt to send Min and Ray on a new adventure. Put them on your shirt. Oh, did you put yours on your shirt? All right, now let's look really, really closely. Dot, dot, dot. So the next picture is a close-up of what your t-shirt looks like under a microscope. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. And I'm noticing something on this illustration. There are a lot of germs. Oh, because they're everywhere. That's what this book is teaching us. This is a photo of fabric. Fabric is a word that we use to describe our clothing really, really close up. I'm Min, and this is Ray. We're on an adventure. Adventure! Nice to meet you. My name's Dennis. We're making this shirt smell. Uh, do you want your shirt to smell? No, but these germs are doing it. Gross! I found a clean patch. Dennis, there's some lovely filth down here. Can you give me a hand spreading this dirt around? What's a hand? <laughs> I hope we don't get put in the washer for a few more days. What a strange place shirts are when you look really, really closely. No wonder they need to be washed. Now it's time for Min and Ray's next adventure. Touch your shirt to pick them up. Boop, pick your germ back up. Dennis has come along for the ride. We have time, time for one more trip. Where shall we go? Shall we visit a belly button, Dennis? What's a belly button? <laughs> oh, hmm, let's make a prediction. A prediction is a guess. Where are we going to take these germs next? Your belly button. Oh, no. Okay, off we go. Put your finger in your belly button and wiggle it about. Uh-oh. Wiggle, wiggle. <gasps> Are the germs in your belly button? Did you put them in there? All right. Now let's look really, really closely. Dot, dot, dot. This is what a belly button looks like under a microscope. Whoa, look at that. They kind of look like rocks. This is a photo of skin really, really close up. Hello. We're Min, Ray, and Dennis. 
This shirt is weird. I'm Ray. I'm Jake. Welcome. We don't get many visitors. Help yourselves to a delicious chunk of dead skin. Ah, I do enjoy a nice drink of sweat on a hot day. Ooh. Did I tell you about the time soap got all the way in here? I don't like scary stories. <laughs> These germs don't like soap. What a strange place skin is when you look really, really closely. No wonder it gets itchy. Put your finger back in your belly button to pick up Min and her friends. So pick it up. I got mine. Do you have your germs? That was fun. Now I'd like to go back to my book, please. Can we come? What a book. Let's put Min and her friends back in the book. So take your finger. Are you ready? Here's a good spot. Let's, there's plenty of room for everyone. So put the germs back on the dot. Boop. <gasps> Yay! Now they're back in the book, right where they want to be. Ooh, so who can remember what this was under the microscope? Do you remember? It was paper, wasn't it? Very good. Where will you take Min tomorrow? <laughs> and then on the back to end the story, this is a picture of what microbes really look like when you put them underneath a microscope. So Min, he is an E. coli, and this is what that germ really looks like. And this is Ray, and Ray is a streptococcus, and she's all bumpy. This is really what that germ looks like in real life. And down here we have Dennis, and Dennis, he was, he is a fungus, and this is what fungus looks like underneath the microscope. And lastly, this is a very big word. I don't know that Miss Hall is going to say it right. Jake is a cornobacterium. Whoa. And that's what it looks like in real life. So this book is all about germs. And we have seen a lot of problems with germs lately. And there's a really, really, really big germ going around right now that's making people very, very, very sick. And we just learned that how many pieces of germs can fit in a very small spot, in that very small dot, over 3 million. So that's why it is so, so, so important to wash your hands or else these characters will be all over the place. And these characters, sadly, they make us sick. So we have to be super careful. All right, friends, I hope you're staying home and staying healthy. And I love all of you and can't wait to see you again. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs>